Hello and welcome. This is Pankaj Dubey, and in this session, we are going to talk about test case designing techniques. So, test case designing technique is needed to get the maximum test coverage by writing the optimal number of test cases, so that it is required only to write the minimal number of test cases and to get the maximum coverage on the requirement. So, there are three main methods of writing or designing the test cases, which is equivalence class partitioning (ECP). boundary value analysis bva and decision table so let's talk about equivalence class partitioning so what happens in equivalence class partitioning all the valid input data will be divided into some set of classes okay and each any value from each class will give you the same result so if uh, let's say if the valid input data is 1 to 100 then we have decided we i have shown here that how many classes can be written here for valid input data where well, it is 1 to 100 so let's make a class a where the valid uh, where you can pick any data from the valid input domain which is 1 to 100 because you, if you are going to pick any data from 1 to 100 it is going to give you the same result Okay, in class B, what we are going to do is we are going to get the uh, get a lower value, which is the which is the uh, lower from the lowest value of input data. So, which is the lowest value in valid input domain? It is one. So, you can pick any data from which is lower than one. So, let's say you can take zero, you can take minus one, minus two, minus three, minus hundred, because every data is going to give you the same result. then you can de uh, define class c as well and class c will contain the higher value of the highest value of input domain so here the highest value of valid input domain is 100 so you can pick any value which is higher than the 100 so you can pick 101 102 200 300 500 and you can keep it and you can define only one test case for that data and it is going to give you the same result okay this uh, also you can uh, define such data or such classes where data is alphanumeric or data is in decimals so so this is how you'll be defining or deciding your uh, test cases in equivalence class partitioning okay next is boundary value analysis more applications error occur at the boundaries and boundary value analysis testing technique is used to identify errors at boundaries so basically when you talk about the input of anything then uh, in uh, it if there is any text box and it accepts any input and it is in numerics then maximum errors used to occur at the boundary of those input data so let's say here the valid input domain is 1 to 100 there is a, a there is an age, age column and in that age column you can enter the age from 1 year to 100 years okay so in that case what could be the how you'll be deciding or how you'll be defining the test cases using boundary value analysis test case designing technique you will be putting the extreme lower value of the valid input domain which is the first one that i have written in green color okay so the extreme lower value of the valid input domain is 1 and extreme lower value of valid input domain sorry it should be a uh, extreme higher value so extreme higher value of valid input domain which is 100 so that is how you are covering the boundary of uh, the valid input data by putting or by placing uh, by designing one test case which accepts the uh, data as 1 and the second one accepts the other boundary which is 100 okay and what could be the error where could be the error so what we'll do we'll write one more test case where the data will be one lower than the extreme lowest value of the valid input domain so valid input domain lowest value is 1 so you can write 0 okay so that will be your third a uh, test case using the boundary and value analysis and fourth one we one will be one higher than the highest value of valid input domain so it should be one higher than the highest of valid input domain which is 101 so that is how you'll be defining or uh, designing test cases using boundary value analysis okay third is decision table which is the, a bit complex one and it is uh, used to handle the complex scenarios only Okay, so what it is? Decision table testing is a black box test designing technique to determine the test scenarios for complex business logic. So, decision table is a good way to choose an input data from data combinations based on some logical conditions. So, let's talk about it. That how it choose a data based on some conditions. So, I have given here. I have uh, designed a table here to to let you understand it. 
okay so there are some set of actions uh, conditions okay so there are condition 1 condition 2 and condition 3 okay and based upon those conditions there will be a certain action performed okay so let's talk uh, let's say that there is a customer who goes to a merchant okay and if that customer has cash in that case if it is cash then coupon thing is not valid an order could can be placed okay so these are some set of actions these are some set of conditions okay so if it is uh, cash then the other condition is not applicable and it will directly can it can uh, place the order okay and the second condition is that if customer has no cash okay if customer has no cash and but customer has some coupon okay so e even in this case the condition goes to true and order can be placed okay customer has no cash but customer has a uh, coupon so the order can be placed in third uh, condition what is happening customer has either no cash and no coupon as well okay so both the conditions are false and in that case action cannot be performed that means order cannot be placed okay that's what it is uh, in this table and that is how we have covered uh, equivalence class partitioning, boundary value analysis and descent table as part of test case designing technique. Thanks for watching.